All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm gonna do a quick review on my Chevy 6500. We've had this for about three and a half to four months. We bought it from Lens Hermanos in Ohio with the Keylar bed. We don't see that many reviews of these. You don't see that many of these on the market. You know, a lot of people think if these are worth getting or not. So you know, I'm gonna do a quick review so you guys can decide and you know make your own little decision. So we got the 6500. It's 2021. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, one of the good things about this truck is it is very quiet compared to the other tow trucks. It does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, not wireless. You do have to connect it with the cable. Definitely a lot easier to work on. Oil changes, fuel filters, everything like that is a lot easier to work on on this truck than my Dodges. Um, this is how you put the air suspension down. You hear the air suspension going on. It only has air on the back, not at the front. And this is PTO. to have the parking brake engage in order for the ETO, PTO to engage. I honestly haven't even used the wheel lift one time, but it does look pretty sturdy, it's galvanized. Mine is uh, with the attached head frame. It doesn't come down with the bed. And I actually like it better like this. One of the good things about this truck is the loading angle is probably one of the best we're ever gonna get. 19.5 tires, air suspension, can't get lower than that. Pretty basic, same thing so far. I haven't had any issues with it at all. Um, definitely is a little bit cheaper made there's a piece over here for the wind to release it's already came off just by driving it um, other than that so far no issues the bed locks standard 48 inches two boxes this is a tiny air compressor that comes with it hydraulic tank yeah that's not the highest uh, setting the PTO goes to. I just like putting it at that because it sounds better. But yeah, the bed moves fairly quick compared to my Dodge. But I know they can be moving quick. Still moves with the e-brake on. That's one thing I don't like about this truck. Light bar, it's a really small compared to my other tow truck light bar. I wish I would do something high quality. But yeah, that's the gist of it. Another weird thing is you can't just make the air suspension go back up by pressing it. You have to put it into drive. And then you hear the air suspension go up, light turns off. This is the lights for those lights on the mirrors and these are your work lights aux one so yeah i feel like this could be laid out proper a little bit better but uh, this is the way the truck is made overall nice truck higher capacity than dodge 
overall driving is pretty good just pretty bumpy overall we could put some air suspension at the front maybe that would help a lot the best part about this truck is how it looks from the front it's super beefy but yeah overall pretty nice truck if anyone was wondering if you have any questions you know put them in the comments and i'll try to answer them as the best as i can this is in reference to my dodge this one has a 22 foot bed they say but honestly it's about 20 and a half from here to the end because they do count this in the bed too i don't know why this one has a 19.5 bed and yeah any questions put them in the comments below